Folks, how we doing? We got a pile of new attachments for you. Gonna take you on a little tour. We keep getting new stuff in, it's a lot of fun. We're gonna show all this stuff in action in the future at some point. First one up here, got the box plane. This is gonna be something offered by Summit Tractors on their website in the near future. You're looking at a 60 inch version. They're gonna have other sizes as well. All the details still kind of coming out on that. But I believe something like a 48, a 60, maybe a 72. Um, and as the name suggests, box plane, all right? Combining a box blade and a land plane has some really cool features on here. I'll take you through it really quick. Okay, so you'll see a big sticker on the end. This thing is made in America. Still looking at a prototype. Pay attention to what I'm doing though, it's kind of cool. So you got box blade mode right now, all right? And then you lift this up. It's easier if you don't have a pallet in your way and it's hooked up to a tractor. But you kind of lift on this hand a little bit. Boom, just like that, lifts open the rear tailgate, all right? And then becomes a land plane, have an option. Maybe it'll be standard, I don't know. We'll figure all that out. Put a second blade in there to treat it just like a land plane. Want to go back to box blade mode? Right back down, pop it right back through, and there you go. So you still have a, a rear facing blade, so you can push and pull just like a box blade. You have scarifier teeth. It's patent pending design, gonna be available through Summit Tractor. I'm excited to put this thing to work. All right, next up, we got a whole pile of stuff in from Oregon Tool, Oregon Tool, okay? This right here is a trailer mover. I suppose you can probably imagine what it does. You just move these pins. This is how they ship, with the pins on the inside just for minimizing space. Just move those pins to the outside. This is gonna be the business side of things. You got your two-inch receiver down there, gooseneck hitch mount up top. So we're gonna be uh, selling those. These should ship UPS ground, not too heavy. All right, we'll get those right to you. Here, we got a, uh, oh, a plow. Just a single bottom plow type thing. They call it a breaker plow right there. Again, same thing, just move your pins to the outside. Just sent this way for, for transport purposes, but very nice here. Now, not sure if we're gonna carry these or not. You know, sometimes you don't know the demand unless uh, folks ask you. So if you guys think you're interested in a product like this, uh, let us know, we can get you pricing, uh, get a listing up and, and order these things in too. Okay, so here we're looking at a 48 inch rotary cutter. Now. The smaller, the first tools that we were showing you with the uh, uh, the plow and the trailer mover, and then also, haven't got to it yet, but we've shown you before, the subsoiler, um, those are, I believe, foreign made, okay? So the next two items, the brush hog, rotary cutter, call it what you want, and the tiller that we're gonna show you are made in the US with US and imported parts. So similar to a lot of the other products we sell, like uh, the dirt dog tillers and, and, and cutters, um, the Rhino, uh, tillers and cutters, same kind of thing. Typically the gearboxes are are all coming from China uh, and most of, of everything else, you know, with little components here and there that are probably foreign, but uh, the major shell and that kind of thing is all gonna be uh, made right here in the US. And so I got uh, some of these things in, not because I'm looking to replace Dirt Dog, I'm gonna keep them on, but I like to see new equipment. And, and so I got small volumes of this and we're gonna sell it and, and get feedback too. You're looking at, as far as I know, the only configuration available, um, laminated tire on the backside, really good. You got the steel guard on the back and I think it's, yeah, rubber on the front. Um, some similarities to the Dirt Dog, but not everything. Uh, you'll see, um, Gearbox has a three-year warranty on there, just like Dirt Dog does. Slip clutch is standard. The dome top, same kind of effect, except they, they missed the mark a little bit by putting a, a welded lip on the top to kind of trap the water. And you can see how this is sitting right now, uh, a bit of an angle, and we trap some water right here. So that's kind of what Dirt Dog avoids overall. Uh, the pivot point, okay, on the, on the three-point, that kind of allows you to flex with uneven ground if you're going through a ditch or just hills and wonky areas. The pivot point on the Dirt Dog is back down here, so it prevents that pinch point if you're working on it. Uh, they moved it back up to a traditional point here in the Oregon. Overall, I think this looks to be a well-made cutter. Uh, we're gonna get them listed on there. We're probably gonna, the retail price point for us with, with shipping included will come out to basically the same as the Dirt Dog. I'm probably gonna knock that down a little bit and take a, a little bit of a hit on that because I think it's not quite as top-notch as the Dirt Dog, but still a quality cutter. Also, a few other key differences on the, the horsepower rating on this gearbox is 40 horsepower compared to 60 on Dirt Dog. You're gonna see on both sides, it looks like an option, maybe to add your own replaceable skid runners on here. There's no replaceable skid runners, but there's the holes there, like you can mount them there. And then the cutting diameter is listed as up to an inch for this Oregon 48 inch cutter compared to an inch and a half on the Dirt Dog. Okay, so here we have 48 inch tiller very, I mean, basically identical to the ideal tillers that we're carrying. And, and so that's why I got these in because 
well, I just sold out of ideal tillers. The timing was right. They had uh, 28 of these tillers, so I, I bought them and, and got them. It's nice to have something to be ready for spring, and they'll kind of trick out over winter too. But I uh, haven't set it up yet. Just got it in recently. But I'm telling you, if you look up the specs, which we really like the ideal tillers, we're still going to carry those as well. Um, but these, if you're looking at one or the other, you're splitting hairs. It's a good tiller either way. All the warranties are the same. The tilling depth is the same. The horsepower requirements are the same. It's it's almost like they're the same tiller. And so this is a 48 inch tiller, again, for smaller tractors, all your subcompacts out there. Um, it'll actually, it'll work great on the Summit tractor that we have too. So kind of in that, that first rung of compact tractors. Look at her, look at her, she's, a, she's king of the mountain. Oh, you missed it. What are you doing, June? That's hilarious. And so now we did get a few of the 60 inch tillers in as well. I'm um, gonna be a little bit cheaper than Dirt Dog, but traditionally, if we're looking for our larger tillers, the 60, the 72, the 84, we stick with Dirt Dog. Dirt Dog doesn't offer a 48 inch tiller right now. Um, and so we had to find something to kind of round out that lineup. Alrighty folks, so just opened up the crate. This is the first look at the Summit rototiller right here, all right? So yeah, two rototillers in today's video. This is gonna be the Summit brand of one. You can see the matching paint color. Looks really good. This is how it literally came in, all right? So um, you got the, the bracing there just to kind of prop it up and, and store it inside the crate. A-frame's already on. I mean, there is not a, well, there's, I mean, you gotta put the PTO shaft on. Um, I don't know, I'm sure there's a few little bits and pieces to do there. But this thing is slick. I like this a lot. I wonder what these guards are for. Honestly, I don't know anything about this tiller yet, so I'm gonna be digging into this and, and uh, figuring it all out. I see these guards here, which you normally don't see unless there's something that's reverse rotation, but maybe they're just, uh, I don't think this is reverse rotation. I don't know, I'll, I'll figure it out. I'll get you more information, but this thing's pretty slick. My first impressions are positive. Is that four blades? No, one, two, three, four, five. Oh, wow. It's actually even a six blade uh, per flange here too. And you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven flanges. That's pretty awesome. Gear drive, it says. Free toolkit. Good things to come. And I noticed that model number. Yep, TLX 54. This is a 54 inch wide tiller. You don't see many that are in that four and a half foot range. Folks, we are proud to be sponsored by RimGuard Solutions, a liquid ballast weight. It goes right inside your tires, completely hidden. We're big on safety on this channel. These tractors are just too light and tippy right out of the factory. Not only is it going to help with safety, keeping those rear tires planted on the ground, it helps with loader efficiency and traction too. The benefits of RimGuard include being the heaviest all-natural liquid ballast weight on the market. It's not going to corrode your rims like the old calcium chloride. It's not going to freeze, and it's available at over a thousand dealers nationwide. Find the dealer near you at RimGuardSolutions.com. Alrighty, folks. So we just uncrated the Summit Finish More. This is going to be a 54-inch width and you can see how it comes in nice crate uh, really like that it had a couple little tiny paint scuffs on there uh, it's so hard to do with all these all these heavy attachments little brackets here and there but uh, very minor stuff on there love it overall minimal assembly required pto shaft looks like uh, just the, the a-frame brackets up here just to connect and, and hook up to your, your three-point hitch there. Um, but most all of this is already taken care of. Nice front roller guard. You can see the shims here, greasable zerks on all four uh, gauge wheels. Not gonna pop these covers off today, but I'm sure we'll do a nice in-depth video on this attachment here. Not a whole lot to, to finish mow this time of year in December, but uh, come springtime, there certainly will be. Also looking at this, I see it is rear discharge on there. Are these pneumatic? These might just be uh, solid rubber. These might be solid rubber wheels on here too, from what I can tell. So no flats to worry about there. Alrighty folks, so here is our latest design. This is in the prototype phase still, so it's is not production quality. This thing's been been chopped and rewelded a, a couple of times. Um, but you get the idea. It's, uh, we're getting close. So this is the Versa fork, and so this not only mounts on the three-point hitch, quick hitch compatible, but also mounts on your front end loader. So you can go back and forth either way if you want to keep like a grapple on up front um, or your bucket or whatever else. If you want to keep it up front, you can do that and have your forks back here. If you don't have a front end loader, you can put them on your three-point hitch and maybe you get a front end loader down the road. You can still hook up and use them that way too. So not only they go back and forth that way, but we've got a built-in two-inch receiver, okay? This 
ball hole here, right here for maybe a gooseneck. I don't know. It, it may it may go away. I don't want it to, but we have to make sure that this is easily quick hitch compatible and it kind of gets in the way with that top hook when connecting. Obviously it can be done, but it's not super smooth. We have a couple of chain hooks on here as well. So you can pull along. This top rail is designed to be able to support suitcase weights. So you can add that on if you want to take the tines off um, or if you want to hang suitcase weights on here for additional ballast weight or you have them up front. Say you have a a real heavy three-point attachment on and you have these forks up front you can hang suitcase weights on here uh, to offset that too and get some ballast either way and of course this is made in the usa american labor american steel just like our versa bracket our stump bucket our hitch hangers the other products that we're kind of coming out with too we're really proud about that so not available for sale yet taking feedback taking input we want to give as much bang for the buck as possible keep the weight down the initial design, we're hoping to be around that 250 pound um, weight so we can still be used on a subcompact and small compacts as well. We'll probably come out with a, a heavier duty version with a taller headache rack, that kind of thing as well. A headache rack is good, but I think it has a bit of a misnomer because it's still, you can see how tall of a back you have right here as well. So you can still pile a load all the way up to this point. And then, you know, beyond that, if you want to have something way up here, that's what a headache rag is for, but you can still stack a lot of stuff on here too. So a couple key considerations, you know, obviously a three point hitch can lift a lot more weight typically than a front end loader. Um, and so you can get a lot more bang for your buck that way too. Now these forks are still are, you know, we're not building these super heavy duty. I don't think the small tractors are gonna have any issue with it at all. Um, but you know, if you're gonna put 4,000 pounds on here, it's not rated for that. If you put them on a, on a big compact tractor or a small utility tractor. So kind of use some common sense there as well the one downside i'll show you let me lower this down a bit is that um the quick hitch doesn't go down far enough to get underneath those hooks and take it out so you need to prop this up on really probably six eight inches high off the ground looking into maybe some sort of a kickstand or something else to integrate to it we don't want to overcomplicate this don't want something that's easily broken and just more of a pain than anything else I don't know, maybe there's another solution, but you can't really rework the brackets too much. Otherwise, they'll interfere with stuff on the front end loader. There's a lot that goes into this to make it all work. And if that was going to be a downside, I would say that's it. You can still, I've picked up plenty of things off of pallets. That's not an issue. It's just the quick hitch connection and disconnection. That's the downside right now. A lot of folks store stuff on pallets anyway. Maybe it's not that big of a deal. All righty, folks. So this is the easy wheel. Doesn't get much easier than that. So last winter, we, uh, we showed a couple of these homemade versions, all right? And, and the nice thing, I'll, I'll hop up on here too, you can do it from the operator seat just real easy. It's like that, make those adjustments, okay? And it's a lot easier than those two little handles that are down there to spin that around. Now this works on the 1025s, gosh, I think his website says, I'm, I think it's um, some Kubota models, maybe the, maybe the 2R Series 2, but this is his first product. This is, this is a, a guy who owns a tractor, right, and then sees a need, sees a want, does something about it, and uh, bringing it to market. Now, he's got a lot of experience manufacturing uh, products in the motorcycle industry, actually. So uh, this is his entry product into the tractor world, the tractor space. Pretty handy. The Easy Wheel is part of the, the discount club, so you can get 5% off with code GWT. A lot of cool products in there, too. I think we have close to 20 different vendors. Uh, really cool stuff there, so you can save 5% at least with code GWT on all those products there, but check out the easy wheel. All right, folks. So last thing I want to tell you about, we have some hydraulics, some do-it-yourself hydraulic solutions from Summit Hydraulics. We're going to be installing on the Kubota BX. This is one box here. I got another box showing up today, actually, but wanted to give you a little heads up on that. Just like we did the, the DIY grapple install um, on the 1025R, I don't know, two years ago or something like that. I'm going to do the same thing on this Kubota BX and show you what that's all about. And on top of all of that, I am going to be looking sometime soon, maybe shortly after the holidays, for somebody who's close enough to me in Matawan, Greater Kalamazoo. If you got a trailer, a truck and a trailer, you can haul your tractor over looking for a coyote, a, a relatively new coyote subcompact or compact tractor. Um, send me your model number, just shoot me an email with that. We are going to do an install with a Summit Hydraulics kit on your tractor free of charge to you. And then sometime after that, we're going to do the same thing on an LS tractor as well. So. A lot of cool stuff coming down the pipeline, but if you're close to the, you know, Kalamazoo, Greater Kalamazoo area, you have a way to transport your, your tractor over here, and it's the right model we're looking for, well, it could be your lucky day. And just like the Easy Wheel, Summit Hydraulics are a Discount Club member. Discount Club's just a collection of vendors that we partner with. We don't physically carry their inventory. 
we work with them. So we do the advertising, they hold and stock their inventory. You go to their website to buy, you save 5% or more depending on the vendor with code GWT. So that's gonna wrap it for us today, folks. Hopefully you got a, a good look, some, some eye candy there, right? Get to see some different attachments, some new stuff coming out. The innovation never seems to stop. Now we'd love to earn your business. We sell and ship attachments all over the country. Go to goodworkstractors.com. And if you don't have anything you need to buy, then the least you can do, hit that subscribe button down below. Give us a thumbs up, leave a comment. We're glad to have you here. I wanna thank you for taking time out of your day to stop by. And until next time, stay safe. We'll see you soon.